Uh, greetings everyone, welcome to another build video, and I thought I'd make this build, make it nice and quick, just to um, start it up, we've got Grandmasters next week. Um, I'll be doing carries for Grandmasters, if you need help, comment down below. I'll go with my build, it's um, just, it's easy, it's just a lot of fun, so, got the build nice and quick, subclass, gonna go Shade Miner. Uh, in terms of fragments, we've got Whisper of Fishes, Whisper of Torment, Whisper of Shards, Whisper of Chains, and we're going to run Bleak Watcher and Ice Flare Bolts. Obviously, we're going to run Cold Snap. That's purely because we're running the double Cold Snap grenade build. And Healing Rift, just to keep us alive a bit longer. In terms of weapons, we're going to go Riptide uh, with uh, season that before, but we have uh, Auto Loading Chocolate. If you don't have one, go see um, him and his Vala. No, Shaxx, I don't know. Go see Shaxx and go buy one. Until you get this wrong. Just those two perks. Nothing else really matters. Just those two. Um, you can go for a, a charge time Masterwork version if you want. But really, it doesn't really matter. Uh, for primary weapon, we're going to run Symmetry. Because we have Overload Scout. And Symmetry is just heaps of fun to use. Um, and then we're going to run Fire and Forget Linear Fusion. Or, alternative, we can run the, the Regnant Grenade Launcher. If you like that. Or run a, a Rock Launcher. So... If it doesn't really matter, I just like running this because I like stasis and stasis weapon surge, put more damage, and I craft this thing so I'll start using it. Uh, Vice to go, not as good as it used to be, but still pretty fun. And yeah, it's just there, it's pretty fun to use. Um, now, in terms of armor, uh, obviously, got osmosis gloves, um, for double stasis grenades, for double stasis turrets to give, give the chance to lock down enemies. Um, and so we go through the helmet. So I'm running Heavy MI Finder and Font of Wisdom. Um, just basically so it gives me a, a tier 3 charge to until so it goes to level, uh, tier 6 instead of tier 3. So it's a bit nicer. Um, in terms of gloves, we check on Fastball, throw it a bit further, Arc Loader, and Shield Break Charge. So if we break a Stasis Shield or an Arc Shield, it gives a charge. Alrighty, hopping over to the armor, nice and quick. We have charged up. And concussive dampener. Nice and simple. Just want to basically have more stacks and take this image out. If you are funny, you're dying a lot, take this out and chuck on another another mod. Um, or even chuck on one to the There we go. Chuck that one on. Uh, leg armor. We got uh, arc weapon surge and stasis surge, along with harmonic scavenger. So, stasis weapons get both surge and picking up ammo used by the weapon. So, just get a bit more ammo. So, we're running through stasis weapons. And in terms of bonds, we have elemental time dilation. So it's on, that's just called time dilation now. Just be elemental time dilation. Um, just lasts a bit longer. And then Reaper mod. After using your class ability, your next weapon uh, spawns on a pair just to get some orbs. Um, you don't have to run that. You could run something like um, Powerful Attraction, Proximity Ward Finisher, or even just one of the Outreach or even Distribution. But I like running Reaper just because I always popping riffs as much as I can and trying to pop enemies. So most of the is easy. But that is the build. Nice and quick, nice and simple. As I said, if you are looking at Grandmaster next week or just want a hand, uh, let me know. Between Wednesdays and Saturdays, um, we'll just comment on the video. And if I am running, I'll just click your message if you're on. Um, sure, join. Anyway, guys, until next time. Thanks so much for watching.